Learn jQuery 15 minutes! The first thing we want to look at is an attribute method. An attribute is anything in HTML, like a class or a source or a name or an href, right? Those things that are inside of HTML tags. The attribute method in jQuery can set attributes, but also retrieve them. So for example, we're focusing on the first paragraph here. Let's say attribute and let's ask it what the class is. So let's put that in an alert so we can see it. And when I hit save, an alert should pop up and let me know the class. There it is, lead. Remember that the first paragraph is lead. Okay, so now instead of asking what the class is, let's set the class. And you put a comma after the first thing, and then let's just say not lead. And then let's take off the alert here. And now we set this first paragraph to not lead. Let's inspect that. And the class here, as you can see, is not lead. And this can be super powerful. For example, this image that I have right here, I can use the attribute method of jQuery to swap out the source attribute in the HTML. So I'll do adder right here, and then inside of that, I'll say, take that source attribute and change it from image one to image two.jpg. And when I save it, the image will literally change because the source is being changed to the second image in the series that I have here. Now remember the animations that we did in the last episode? What if we took this image here and did a fade out? And then inside of the fade out, we'll say it'll take 500 milliseconds to fade out. And then after that, we can write another anonymous function. And then inside of that, we'll take this, which is if you write uh, this in parentheses, you're talking about whatever the function is called on in jQuery. And then let's call that the script that we just wrote up there where we're changing the source and then chain another method onto it. Let's do that fade in and let's make the fade in last 500 milliseconds. Okay, so we're gonna fade out, change the source and fade it in. You see it? It happened pretty fast. Let's put a delay right in the beginning of like you know, 500, so that we can, there you go. And just that easily, we have this really attractive animation where we're swapping out images. Awesome, right? And it's just ever one image tag, we're just swapping out the source, that's, that's pretty crazy. Now let's talk about the class methods in jQuery. If you're good with CSS, this can be one of the most powerful things in jQuery because it can work well with CSS to manipulate how the page looks and its structure. First of all, I wanna show you that jQuery can actually ask things if it has a class. So for example, I'm focusing on the last paragraph and I'm gonna say, hey, do you has class? Let's call it class of lead, right? And let's just throw this in an alert so we can see it. And then when an alert pops up, it'll tell us false. This last paragraph does not have a class of lead. Okay, well let's ask if the first one does. It's true, it's true, it does have a class of lead. This is a really great tool to use if you're walking through the DOM and doing conditionals, like if it has a class, then make it blue or something like that. In fact, let's take the class blue as an example and say the first one not has a class, but add, we wanna add the class to it as a blue. And you can even, let me say, remove class of lead, because we know that the first one has the class of lead, let's remove it. And now it's not bold or big, because we removed lead. Why don't we go to all of the paragraphs here not just the first, and and toggle. Now toggle will say, if it is, then turn it off. If it's not, then turn it on, right? So where the last paragraph was the only one that had the class of blue, now the other three do. Let me turn this off. You can see that normally just the bottom one does, and now I'm turning it on and I'm just toggling that. So this is a great way to do drop down menus or tabs or anything where you need to switch the state. Just throw a toggle on it. And the last type of methods that I wanna show you in this episode are called content methods. These are methods that jQuery uses to look at the content of the things. For example, what is in a paragraph tag? So let's take a look at that. Let's look at that first paragraph tag and let's change the text of it. Using the text method, we'll say, hey, you guys. And when we save it, the content where it says before they sold out, now it will change to, hey, you guys. <laughs> this is exciting, right? You can use the text method to set text like we just did, or just even retrieve it and like stash it in a variable or something. Let's change, or let's let's use an alert here to take a look at what is the content of that first paragraph. 
So when our alert pops up, it actually tells us before sold out, blah, blah, blah. This is just nonsense text. But the point is that I'm pulling that paragraph out and I can do things with it once I have it. So that so text is the way that you pull text out of, out of a, an element. Now, an interesting thing to note about text is that we talked earlier about how you can use the method text to insert copy into a DOM node. Here, let's say, uh, hey there, buddy. Well, let's say that we wanna wrap this last word in a tag. When we do that using text, it will all be interpreted as text and you can see the HTML tag showing up in text. So if you want that to be interpreted as actual HTML, you have to write, use the HTML method. And now that word buddy will be italicized if you wrap an M around it inside of the method. Okay, just one more content method. I wanna look at this form element down below here, a random input. Let's select the input and ask it for its value. Now again, let's put this in an alert so we can actually see it. But when the alert comes back, it'll 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 take the value out of that text field and say and, and give it to us. And you can again imagine all the useful things you can do by storing content, storing user input or or whatever. You can also not only just like gather the information, but you can set it. And now that input says yo dude, and yo dude. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. It was so much fun to make. And if you like making cool things as much as I do, be sure to check out the rest of this series. And after that, take your JavaScript skills to the next level and check out my Killing It with jQuery courses. Now these are some courses that I'm currently developing. So when you go to killingitwithjQuery.com, you can sign up to be informed about updates as I go along, little snacks of value and bonuses that I'll be sending to everybody as I gear up for the release later this year. And if you're watching this now later, after the course has already been released, well, go to killingitwithjquery.com and start killing it with jQuery, right? Link is definitely in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Oh my goodness, sign up. <laughs> I'll see you next video and keep on hacking. Okay, okay, okay. Killing it. Killing it with jQuery. 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 No, how do you even say this? How do you, how do you say killing it with jQuery without sounding stupid? Killing it with jQuery. <laughs> killing it with jQuery. Killing it. Killing it with jQuery. Oh, that was a mess. Jeez. All right. A knife or a gun. Killing it with jQuery. Killing it with jQuery. Yo, killing it with jQuery, yo. Yo, I'm just a killing it with jQuery, yo. Killing it. Killing it. Killing it with jQuery. Killing it with jQuery. That's, that's the winner. That's the winner.